People talk about the, the Late Late Show, you know, the instant associations are carpool karaoke, crosswalk the musical, drop the mic, roll calls, but it, it pains me that you never hear about celebrity notices. It's the greatest bit in late night television history. I smell a good time, you smell a good time, it's time for Celebrity Noses! Do I remember the first pitch? Of course I do. I remember the first pitch for Celebrity Noses. The writer's room, it just erupted. It was a, a three-minute standing ovation, and for good reason. We knew that this would change late night forever. I mean this with complete humility, that it is the best thing to happen to late night television. It was, it was 2015 that we first tried Celebrity Noses, and it, it was tricky. I smell a good time, you smell a good time, it's Celebrity Noses. <laughs> Roger, you okay? There should be music on the, on the thing. Oh, I was, the to, I was the... told there's, there doesn't seem to be music for that. I say Celebrity Noses, the thing starts, the music starts, we do it, and then, because we've got so many to get through. <laughs> John, forget it, forget it, we'll do it next week. It, it really wasn't a big deal. You know, I just figured, all right, we'll save this gold for another episode. Was I disappointed that people didn't get to hear my Rod Stewart nose joke? Of course. But these mistakes happen when you're filming an episode of TV every single night. So we tried it again. And again, we had issues. What's that? What's happening? Is that water? <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! Let's not let this ruin the bit, OK? Let's really stay focused. Leaking stopped. Has it really? But some noses are more... <laughs> oh, my God! It's leaking again. Oh, is it really? Is it, le is it f leaking? Is it leaking? I didn't let it phase me. Everyone knows that failure is just part of the process of success. When you fall off that horse, you get back on. The whole show is buzzing tonight because this is incredible. This blew our minds. Some of the world's biggest companies have been clamoring to sponsor this piece. Some noses are more familiar yes. than others. Clown makeup. I'm not doing the clown makeup. I said that. I said I wouldn't do it. Not under any circumstances, okay? You said you were going to talk to them. McDonald's all day breakfast menu is here. Yum, yum, yum. Gimme, give gimme give some. McDonald's. We're out of time. Cut to the breaks. What? No! No! Cut to commercial. No! Out of time. Do not go to commercial. No! I'm Music. serious. No! Cut to... I was starting to think that perhaps some of the staff at the show weren't as committed to the segment as I was, particularly our executive producer, Ben. I smell a good time, you smell a good time, it's time out for... Out of time, let's go to commercial. What? We're going to focus on Jared Depardieu because running this is a slam dunk. We can't be running out of, time. Running out of time. time again. Wrap up, we're no, out of time, James. No, we're not wrapping up, we're doing this, we're out getting to it. I don't care. I call the shots here, what are you going to do? You can't, you can't, you're not going to go time. to a commercial. Is Celebrity Noses late night dynamite? Perhaps, but I stand by how I run this show. I mean, that wasn't even the half of it. I mean, I love our staff but they really started screwing up left and right. First there was the broken light, followed by the chairway to heaven, and who could forget the whole microphone saga? I feel like it isn't work. I feel like it's cutting in and out. I can't do I need both hands to cradle the cards. I can't. <laughs> Is there one of those, you know, like a head mic? Is there one of those? Have we got one of those? I New microphone on its way. <laughs> Is this a joke? You hardly notice it. After the number of failed attempts reached double digits, I started having what um, you might call... Well, it was a breakdown. It was a full-on breakdown. You see, Celebrity Noses, as you can probably tell, is, is the only bit I write off the show. I'm surrounded by writers submitting enough jokes to fill a monologue every day. Meanwhile, I'm chained to a desk, endlessly staring up at blown-up noses. Ever stared at Hugh Jackman's nose at 50x scale for 19 hours straight? I have. Genius doesn't write itself. It requires this level of dedication and sustained belief, even if everything around you is telling you to give up. We are determined to get this right. We were here all night last night, rehearsing it and rehearsing it. No, no mistakes, right, guys? Now, here's the thing. All celebrities have... <laughs> This brings me to this... Oh, my... Stop! Stop! Can you just give me... No... Ow! Can you just give me the... No... Stop! Ben, make this stop! Oh, my God! This is a disaster!
really evacuate want to get to the, the nose. building. I repeat, evacuate the building. Do not leave your this seats. Not Stay in your seats. We will carry on there. Dealing with it, it's fine. Do not touch me. Get your hands off me, sir. I'm doing the bit. Stop. Evacuate no, the no, building. No, no, no. All celebrities have noses, but some are more celebrated than others. You have to understand the pain of these failures. That pain is just temporary, but quitting lasts forever, and we are we are not quitters. Before the Late Late Show comes to a close, we have one more opportunity to get it right. I don't want to be dramatic, but my career depends on it. At this point, what have we got to lose? You know, we fail again, like we have, 32 times in a row, or we get to see the greatest late night segment to have ever existed. That's a gamble I'll take. Eight years have led up to this moment. I honestly don't know what to say. We've done everything we can to ensure that it runs smoothly. We've left no stone unturned. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I smell a good time. You smell a good time. It's finally time for Celebrity Noses. Oh, I'm feeling good about this one. Are you feeling good about it? Yes. Yes.